conceptual as Toy Story characters in full Toy Story regalia. Yeah. I'm talking about like dressed up like a pig, trying to be sexy. Like, Woody like, Buzz Lightyear. Like, yeah, that was just a terrible idea. And just so y'all know, we're equal weird. opportunists. We go on, go in on everybody, even our own. So it's not like we just talking shit about everybody else. Yeah. Cause but, but Justin, Justin, so you, because you've been involved in throwing parties and throwing events for a while or whatever. Where do you, where do you think it dropped off and fell off there? Because like right. like you were alluding, like you were alluding to earlier, I mean that was such an important part of our undergrad experience. Uh, right, it was tradition, and it was just right, and it was just such a part of just like the that that the black USC culture in general mm-hmm. as well. It was just, and so, you know, at what point do you feel like that Stephen just did not become as cool or as important, or even the step shows in general now, like the step shows that you have, it's more kind of dancing than to Stephen. Well, let right. me tell, let me tell you, I think I think the quality of student, the quality of black student at USC. Uh, has okay. dropped off tremendously, and I'm not. So when I say quality, I'm not just talking about academics. I'm just talking about a well-rounded Culturally. individual who embraces well that rounded. culture, right? And so, yep. right when my little and I didn't really realize this. So my little brother Johnny graduated in 2016, and in his class there were only like 50 black males. Wow, how? Right? Wow. In, in, in his freshman people? in his yeah. freshman class, his freshman class. In his freshman class, there were like 50 black males. And so the number of blacks going to USC has, has decreased tremendously. And remember, I don't know about you guys, if you had any friends in this program, but my freshman year, there was like a strong number of people in this like transition year program. I don't know if you guys remember right, this right. program. And I don't know all yep. the details of the program, but it gave a lot of people a chance to come to USC. And all you had to do is I think have a B average or something like that, and you could continue on and finish out your career at USC. So I just think the quality right. of African-American students has, has dropped. And on top of that, I think that um, I think that the Obama years created a situation where um, being black and embracing black culture was not as uh, important because we had a black president. And so it was like, hey, we, we've made it. We live in a post-racial society. Uh, maybe we don't right. need to have an organization like Triple AS. Uh, maybe we don't need to have, uh, you know, historically black Greek organizations. Everybody's equal. It's all good. You know, we don't need to have that, that strong pride in being African-American. You got to think about it. We had eight years of Obama. And so now we have this, you know, 45 and like people are realizing things haven't changed and now everybody wants to be woke. So I will say I do think, you know, eight years from now, you're gonna see the resurgence of what we saw when we were in school. Folks that are proud to be black, identify with black culture, they wanna step as opposed to dance and wanna have some some pride in, in everything that they do. I hope so. That's what that's I think. Great answer. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that that, that was a good take on it too, Justin. That was a really good take on it. Cause, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really, we wouldn't really think about it like that. But I mean, with you being right there and being able to see it, I'm pretty sure that has a whole lot to do with it. Yeah, I mean, and then also having a little brother that was in it. I mean, because I would talk to Johnny a lot about it, and I mean, you just got to think about it. I mean, put it like this, put it like this. Think about it. I mean, so we take our experiences for granted. When right. I was right. when I was 19 years old, and I was a uh, a scroller, our chapter was invited to step at ZTA's uh, man, big man on campus. At that event, Lance, you were there. At that mm-hmm. event, they had blackface. Yep. But they invited black people to step. And before y'all wow. step, they had blackface. And what did you guys do? Walked out. You walked out. I would think right. now, I don't know, and, and this is this is no dig on our chapter. or Get the me, shovel out. Or dig on on you know blacks generally at USC, but I don't know if the, the blacks at USC right now would have the fortitude to say, "I'm not taking that type of disrespect. I'm going to walk out." Right. I no, mean, I, I seriously doubt it because I think there's. I'm not sure if that was well, that, USC you know, where no, was still, a black student was still holding um, holding on to the Confederate flag. That was that. That was a guy at USC. Like, Okay, that's I think they thought. may have now because being woke is trendy, just like Justin said. But in the uh, the very immediate past, I definitely agree with Justin. 
like up until the last couple months where everything is like, you know, how can I be woke? How can I be black now? It's, it's coming back because of 45. Right. But then another thing too, man, that I noticed like after we left the, left the yard, when I say left the yard, I don't mean like 2K2. I mean like after we like really was like, okay, we not having nothing else to do with US, you know, USC undergrad, like a couple years later, like we in the age of participation trophies, like everybody right. was buddy, buddy. It was like no sense of even like, yeah. Uh, uh, nobody could draw the line between aggressive sportsmanship and animosity. That, they, associated <clears throat> with, they, they associated sport. They associated any kind of competition with animosity, and they were like, "Well, we just need to get along in jail." And shit just fell to the wayside, in my opinion. Well, I think honestly, I think this is, of course, you know, my line name was controversy, but I, I think that they're like too cool with each other. Not like right. That's, not, that's I, exactly what happened. Yeah. That's, 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 that's yeah, yeah. I'm not saying like we that's should all hate is. each other as black people, but we had a healthy competition with everybody, and we all wanted. And it, right, and, and it wasn't and my team was just. The Q's even had a decent step team. And what, what campus have you ever seen the Q's right. with a decent step team that right. you would even make that statement? They really wanted to win. But it, or it was because everybody else was so good right. that even the bottom was good. Right, right, Com- right, right. So, From top to bottom. So everybody competed with parties. We had student body press. I mean, it was like everything in, everything that you could possibly do on campus, it was a competition. From girls to parties yeah. to yeah, step like, shows to intramurals. Yeah, we were standing right. out. We were standing out. We were standing out in the back of the Rush House patio with Lance. Who, Lance had the printout that we had from Greek Life um, that had that said we had the highest GPA <laughs> on the yard, yep. and was walking around like showing people the printout. Like, <laughs> we was like, <laughs> we was like, <laughs> Alphas we took it the worst. Everything. It wasn't just Alphas took it the hardest. Like yeah, y'all are supposed to be smart. Right. That's the only thing y'all got going for yourself. Yeah, they were supposed to be smart, the smartest right. people on the yard. Y'all they were supposed to be the that. smartest one out of all of them. Yeah, damn. Sorry, we was out well. there barking about me. We was out there barking about having the highest GPA on the yard too. So it was literally every single thing. Like everybody was competing. It was crazy. It was, so it was good. Healthy competition. It was healthy yeah. competition. Yeah, that's. I think that's non-existent right yeah. now. No. Yeah, I think that's non-existent. It's, it's a lot about self. Because you see, like all the like, if you go on the young guys' Instagrams and stuff, like you see them doing like personal fashion shoots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just worry about. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah. real. Like, like on horses and railroad tracks. Oh, can I have my hair this way? Can I have my blah 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 this way? It's like, for instance, like you know, no, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna tell that story. But I had like a group event plan, like a stunt that we would have pulled back in the day that would have drew some hype to the new line. And everybody's like, well, what about me? Well, what are people gonna say? And I was like, you know what? I'm going home. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I will, I will say, social media, especially Instagram. Yeah, like, I about to say so I don't, media. I don't yeah. really, we ain't had a, I don't really. I mean, Facebook came out when I was God, we didn't have like it. twenty it's, years can old. You imagine, and it seems like now, like it seems like that that. So, have you ever heard of an Instagram or a social media persona? Yeah. So apparently, yeah. Yeah. like, mm-hmm. and this is news to me. So apparently, you can have a social media persona. That's, that's not real, but it's perceived as real. And because it's perceived as real, and perception is reality, it's real. So a lot of people, right. you know, they manage that like it's like it's almost like you managing your professional um, reputation in, in the job market. Um, but it's not real. So people take pictures in front of cars that are not theirs, houses that are not theirs, girls right. that are not their girlfriends. Right, right. Shoes, it's clothes, shoes, jewelry, all exactly, that. all that. And it's it's so like we we I think a lot of these kids don't have a soul. Horses that you don't have a barn for. Right. Yeah. Right. Or, right. or a stable to keep it in, yeah. Right. And then some people may take it like, you know, we may take it like it's a joke, you know, it's no big deal. But some of these kids are taking it seriously like it's like it's real. Yeah, we got some right. bros in the chapter now. I'm like, okay, cuz I know when I got my refund check, I went and bought like every color of Lacoste shirt that they had. <laughs> And I bought like the different. I bought the light, the light Durangos, the brown Durangos. So I know how it is. But these right. boys like buying like Gucci loafers, right? Like you know, like Gucci loafers cost like six, seven hundred dollars. So one of them posted a picture yeah. of a lot for a house. I'm like, so how are you gonna get a house in undergrad? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah, getting- it's the same one, man. <laughs> You're not getting the most. See, the thing is, is though when when we were in school, my my mentality when I got. My overage check, my refund check was. I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck. Like, I paid my I rent up though. Stretch, right? I had to make that stretch as long as it could. I was gonna get a couple stunt items, but they was gonna be. They weren't. I wasn't gonna spend six, seven hundred dollars on just one thing. 
No, no, no way. Right. That's like six, seven shirts. You're trying to make that stretch out. <laughs> it's, it's, it just seems like it's a constant or a continued escalation of stunting. And now with, now with the, you know, the, the insertion of social media, you just have the opportunity to take your stunt to a, you get to live that dream life. That life that you, you know, that you were dreaming about. Yeah, you, you get to live it out now. So, you know, everyone out here doing it for the gram. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's your yeah. most memorable? Because we got, we're right at an hour. So if we need to cut it, we can do it. We make magic happen. But anywho, most memorable story at USC. Brief. Justin, you go. It had to have been. For me, for Justin, I mean, being a student body president, I'd probably feel like it'd be up there. Yeah, that was pretty. Well, let me tell you, uh, being elected student body president was a big deal for me um, individually, but also collectively, the same the same experience because there are a lot of people that came to support me in that effort, especially the chapter. Um, the So I had to fundraise, right? The chapter... Uh, alumni members of the chapter provided like 90% of the funding for my campaign finance. And so that brought a lot of people together. And what, what I appreciated about that, similar to Z United, is that we have a historic chapter in that if we get behind something that's positive, something that's going to uplift um, not only the chapter, but individuals in the chapter and outside of the chapter who are alumni, uh, we have the power to bring people together and do some great things. And so that really sort of changed my outlook on on just being a ZE noob. Yeah, so that, that was one of the most memorable things for me because it wasn't just Justin was student body president. It was a ZE noob is student body president. What about you? Right. What about for you, uh, Lyles? Uh, um, uh, man, I mean... Yeah, so many memories. Yep. It should feel like it feel like it was so so long ago. Um, Cause it was. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I would say my the, the memories that I always go back to um, when it comes to undergrad is just the 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 step the stepping the step team like just that bond and the camaraderie reform that when, like traveling. You know, going you know on the road for all those shows, staying in one hotel room sometimes. Oh, we, went, yeah. we didn't have because we didn't have oh, uh, yeah. money, like all the money to like do that stuff New York like trip. that <laughs> or whatever. The New York trip we had all we had like twenty people between like two rooms. <laughs> um, <laughs> Western Carolina, Western Me Carolina, we all stayed in we <laughs> stayed in one room. The Western Carolina, we stayed in one room. Like I think I said, standing just, up in the closet. <laughs> like leaning, but it was just like it was. It, it, but the 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 drive and the focus that we had as a team, and just the way that we all were always on the same page, just like we wanted to just be the best. We wanted to win every single time we went on stage. We wanted to win. We practiced our asses off. We all put in so much into it. And, you know, just being able to reap the benefits of all that hard work that we did, winning so many shows, making so much money for the chapter, being able to be in the movie, how, how bootleg it ended up being, but getting a free trip to right. L.A. <laughs> and just doing, just having all of these doors open up for us, you know, just from all of that and the hard work we put in and the way that we kind of like that step in and that team like brought the chapter together. I mean, it was just so much stuff happening, you know, as an offshoot to that. Um, so I always go back to those memories, man. Just all the stuff that happened. We were just going through all this stuff together. And the way it came together, how we, most of us didn't even know how to step. And just those first couple of practices, just seeing how, like, right. we were. And just thinking right. about, like, how <laughs> if we're going to go on stage and just embarrass ourselves or we think we good, <laughs> you know, like, it was just so many things go through your head and then, and you see it come together and then you see it get better and then you see it get to where we got and it's just like wow you know from where we came from and all of that too so or hey, uh I guess my my greatest college memory undergrad probably like catching my first real deep ball at, uh, at Williams Bryce that was nice nice little 45 yard grab 
you know, just like a, you know, just have.